Hi, I am Andrew Boronsky. I teach at Huron Heights Secondary School in Kitchener. The focus for mine has been the idea of communication between teacher and student and uh, formative feedback for writing. Uh, as an English teacher in high school, uh, we always focus on how to improve student writing and we find it's a really big uh, time constraint in our classrooms to do what we need to do and not kind of have that one-to-one -one communication. Uh, so one thing I was looking at was using Google Docs with my students to write their essays in grade 10. Uh, overall, I found this a kind of a fantastic experience. Uh, using the commenting feature through Google Docs, I was able to highlight their text, uh, anything that was done well, anything that was a focus for improvement, and uh, leave detailed comments with the side. The thing I really loved about it was it allowed my students to kind of comment back to me and uh, we could have this dialogue going back and forth um, outside of real time outside of our classroom. And uh, I got to see the kind of evolution of the writing through using Google Docs for that. I think, I mean, with our traditional model in the classroom of having me sitting in the front of the classroom, going through our lesson plans, how to write the essay, what the expectations are, and then sitting down, sitting, sitting back, saying my students essentially go, right? And let's see what you do and having that handed in. Um, I would be often moving through the classroom, working with students through that, but again, in an hour period with 30 students in my class, it's tough to get to people. Even over the course of the week of the writing, it's really tough to get to them. Uh, so I think one of the biggest changes for anyone to notice was that it allowed me, outside of time, so prep or sitting down in a coffee shop at Starbucks, I could pop into their essay through their Google Doc that they'd shared with me um, and see how they're doing with it. And if I noticed something was not quite right or if they're off base in somewhere, I could fire them a quick comment that way. And uh, it really kind of opened the doors for that kind of communication between teacher and student outside of class. You know what, my students actually really loved that. I was having them come back and saying, like, you know, thank you so much for popping online and looking at my stuff and giving me the feedback. And I get it now. Um, I didn't, I wasn't really sure before. And even like when you went through in the lesson, I wasn't quite confident with it. But having you read over it and comment and say, this is right, or I know that you've checked it off, gave them a lot more confidence. So I think the biggest uh, positive I took at it was the positive feedback from my students on it. One thing is that like we focus here really on formative feedback and so like we do like lunchtime meetings with students, uh, we'll do after school before, still so kind of have these one-on-one -on -one meetings. Um, so one of the challenges was switching over to Google Docs. Um, I'm giving up my own time to do that then. Like I said, I'm at the coffee, I'm going out to a coffee shop and pulling their stuff up or I might have a free hour at home where I'm popping the computer and going through their stuff. Um, so it is a, a shift, uh, switching over the technology with Google Docs and doing that on my own time outside of the school hours necessarily. But uh, overall, I would say it was still a time saver for me. 